Hi Taurus, this is your love scope for February 15th through February 28th, 2017. Um, okay, so for you guys, I, I really don't know. This is a very, very interesting reading. I've never, um, for a general, I've never really seen this come out like this before so clearly. So I suppose for some of you who are watching this, this is really going to resonate and um, answer some questions that you may have in your mind. Um, for others of you, I this is just so specific and I like sat here trying to deduce like a different message from the cards because this is general but I'm not getting that okay I'm getting one really strong message so this could play out either way Taurus this could be you doing this to somebody else or it could be somebody else doing this to you but it's pretty much one main message so first of all we have wedding children and true love and I was super excited when those came out for you guys but then what follows that is victory strategy deceit walking away attachment and rest and rejuvenation and also we have an indecision what follows that is the Four of Wands with the Nine of Swords, the King of Wands with the uh, reversed Five of Cup or Five of Pentacles, which is fire, and the Five of Pentacles is the Taurus energy, okay? And then we have the Empress with the um, Ace of Wands. Now, what this, and then the advice cards go, ugh. okay, what this tells me is for some of you, you were were or are with somebody that you were either married to or it's somebody that you want to marry because you feel they're your they are your true love okay and children are involved now the way these children are involved is different for some of you these children already exist for others of you somebody's pregnant and the way they got pregnant is very deceptive okay so i'm going to start there and what I see is either you, Taurus, or somebody else that's dating you saw you in this light where they love you, they want to have your children, they, you know, want to marry you, or you were with somebody or are with somebody where you feel that way. And for whatever reason, it's somebody started pulling back from the relationship, okay? Somebody started pulling back and um, in an effort to prevent that from happening, some of you intentionally got pregnant. And I say that because we have this walking away, but we also have this victory attached to it. And what follows that is strategy for attachment and deceit so that you no longer have to worry about this relationship walking away from you. And then the answer is this uh, Empress with this Ace of Wands. Any reader would tell you the same thing from these cards, okay? Somebody intentionally got pregnant to trap somebody else into a relationship. That is so strong in um, these cards. And for those of you um, who, I'm going to say, um, for those of you who are a male who did not want to have children with your partner and you were pulling back, now you are, you know, stuck in this place of indecision because now they're pregnant, okay? Um, For, for others of you, either your children are being used against you by an ex, could definitely be somebody you were married to because they didn't want you to walk away or, you know, it's just there's like this manipulation about children in this reading and with um and it feels, I am so sorry if you're a Taurus female and this just does not apply to you because... 
if you're a female, it's like you trapped this person right here, this king of fire, king of wands. You intentionally got pregnant to trap this person. Or you are using the kids to try to trap this person. Or if you are a female Taurus dating somebody else, and this does not apply to you. It's like they're, your partner's ex-partner is really playing a lot of manipulation and games with the kids. And I feel it's to get to lure them back in. And that might be why this is playing out for you is you are having to deal with this manipulation from your partner's ex-partner. Or you are dealing with this manipulation from your ex-partner in general. Like... So that's just how it's playing out. Somehow, some way, there's this manipulation um, going on with kids. And it, it's for some, it was, uh, let me get pregnant because, you know, I feel like this person is, is like detaching from me, walking away. <laughs> because I, you know... I don't think I have ever seen these cards come out together. And the fact that victory sits on top of them, it's like whoever was being deceitful, they won. Okay, they won. And um, I see that also playing out, you know, in the sexual magic tarot. The two of pentacles. The Five of Pentacles. And then, bam, now we have this attachment through this child. So, um, I really hope that <laughs> this is speaking to somebody because I've never really had a general reading like this. I, As I've said, it's, for those of you who are, really dealing with this manipulation I um, my heart truly goes out to you if you question that you were manipulated and deceived into something especially when it comes to children or somebody getting pregnant you really need to trust your intuition and um, like I said because I see some of you now stuck in this place of indecision and so if you were manipulated the advice I have is speak the language of love, um, but also consider your foundation. So, with consider your foundation, this is all about, you know, how stable of a relationship was this anyways, the foundation of it. Whether you are somebody who was manipulated, or you are a Taurus who has done the manipulating. I mean, this is a general reading, so it truly can go either way. It's the foundation was never solid to begin with, and that's why the relationship started to feel shaky, you know. And for those of you that walked away and now you're being manipulated, don't get sucked back into that because the foundation wasn't solid anyways okay and for those of you who did do manipulating did get pregnant or are using children against your um, partner or ex-partner you really need to consider what that's creating for you long term because if it's already on a shaky foundation even if you believe this person is your true love and you could be married to them a child will not really change anything it will only add stress to a stressful situation, okay? People who are both madly in love and want to create children together, like it's a, I, I want this to happen. You look at the struggles they still have at staying together, okay? A baby will never, ever change anything. It might physically bind you guys, but if one person really never wanted to have a baby with you, it's not going to be the same vibration as if you guys were equally on board with that, okay? So, and maybe for some of you, your partner was like, yeah, yeah, and then you did get pregnant, and now they're not on board, 
okay that this could just play out so differently but it is one main theme of energy where there is deception and it involves children and I feel one person is into the other more than um, the other is into them and that's why this manipulation is happening but with speak the language of love loving words have the power to change someone's life including your own so if you're being manipulated or you were manipulated being um, angry and nasty isn't going to help you out at all it's just going to perpetuate this already out of balance energy um, being gentle and kind is truly the way to go even if this is something you absolutely just don't want to happen you need to just be kind and loving and um, you know all things truly happen for a reason and sometimes we don't understand why but I'll tell you this much um, my third child was actually very unexpected and it was um, with the Taurus amazingly enough and I really struggled with it it wasn't that you know I didn't love him I, we'd been together for a year I just wasn't sure in my heart if that was the one for me but he was all for it because in his mind he wanted to marry me I was his true love okay but I wasn't fully on board with that and then I got pregnant and um, the way it happened was quite divine so in the end I realized even though it was nothing that I wanted at the time in the end it truly was meant to be and I didn't end up um, staying with her father I mean we did get married and I really really tried to see him as my true love to give you know my daughter a lifetime of two parents together but it just it doesn't work and that's why I'm saying um, I was on the opposite end of that where I really did not want to have this baby with a man but he was really in love with me so that's why I'm saying you know if you're a female Taurus this could be unexpected pregnancy that you don't want any part of but your man is all about it okay this energy can play out very differently it's just that you know the baby never changed anything the baby never made me love him more okay and um, I'm actually closer with my um, other daughter's dad because I truly did love him when we got pregnant and um, we're great friends to this day but mm, the last baby I got pregnant with her dad and I nope because it just like I said, a baby adds stress and tension to a situation that's already filled with that. It does not make it better. It makes it more challenging. And um, you just be real with yourself the whole way, even if society dictates you have to handle this one way or whatever, you know, be there for your child no matter what, even if it's a child that you were deceived into having, okay? Love your child no matter what, because even though you created life with somebody else, this life you created is unique and a part of you, and nobody can change that or take that away from you now. So, um, I just see a lot of worry happening around all of this energy as well, okay? Oh, Taurus, I wish I was, this was not the message. Honestly, I almost uh, wasn't going to record this and just maybe even skip Taurus for the second half, but I just, I can't. Um, last, the, I, I, you know what, now that I think about it, um, the first half of February, I didn't do your guys' reading either because <laughs> it was so similar to this and I was like, I don't want to universe I don't want to deliver this kind of message like and then here we are the second half of February and it's pretty much the same thing so I've just obviously this is you know what spirit is trying to put out there for some of you this is what 
some of you are really dealing with right now and the advice that spirit gives here is you need to consider the foundation of of all of this and you need to be gentle and loving about it even if you were the one that was deceived and if you deceived somebody you need to consider the foundation that was in place if somebody was trying to walk away from you or you felt like you and your partner were getting distant a baby is not going to create um, the attachment that you are looking for or that you didn't feel was um, coming forth as equally from your partner even though you really felt like they were your true love okay this a baby does not make that happen it just it doesn't um, and you know I've seen people where like I said they were in love and they have kids and they can't make it work but blessings and love to all of you um, who are truly resonating with this and you know just trying to move through this energy and just have trust and really open up to the universe and try to see the bigger picture of it and no matter what love your baby love your children and if somebody's jacking you around about your children never give up do not stop fighting for them okay don't because with victory here even if they have the upper hand right now I believe there's a victory coming forth for you okay and many of you are really worried about that just don't give up okay don't give up on your kids don't stop fighting for them and if this is an unexpected child that you never wanted well guess what you're about to have a baby and you need to love that baby because it we I mean we all need a strong family unit okay and it's not the child's fault that it's here if you didn't want it okay so that is um, the message that I have for you guys I hope you guys don't all hate me <laughs> I'm so sorry but this is truly what came out um, I am sending you all a lot of love light and healing okay and looking forward to March being a much better love scope. So until then, take care of yourself, Taurus.